Hey there, welcome back. It's Clay with ModernLove.Life, and this is Relationship Inner Game. Um, now today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be talking about how long should you be doing no contact for. Again, this really does depend on which type of no contact you're doing, passive no contact, active no contact, you know, reverse psychology, let's play mind games no contact, or, uh, you know, heal from the breakup no contact, or, you know, all kinds of different types. But I'm just going to be moving forward assuming that we're talking about active no contact because that's what I teach. So how long should you be doing it? And the main thing shouldn't be focusing on some specific number of days like you know a week, two weeks, three weeks, a month, three months, five months, six months or anything like that. What you should really be thinking about is the quality of the interactions that you believe that you would be able to have with your ex. So oftentimes it would be highly recommended that somebody would go into no contact uh, of, of, of any type because quite frankly they are not having positive interactions with their ex. You know, every time they pick up the phone and call their ex, they have an argument or their ex walls them out or every time they text their ex, they just get met with some like angry response or there's just no response whatsoever. Or um, otherwise, every time they're interacting, they are having a worse and worse interaction with their ex that is causing them to distance themselves from you emotionally, okay? What we're doing during active no contact is we are creating a new context where we can develop the ability to interact with our ex in a way that actually brings us closer together. So you don't want to just kind of white knuckle it through no contact and hope that just because some certain amount of days have passed uh, that you're suddenly going to be able to have a great impact on your ex. Uh, so put in some time, make sure that you are doing something to actually have a great positive impact on your ex. That should really determine the length of no contact, okay? If you're making progress and you're developing advanced relational skills and you're able to have stronger interactions with people that bring the two of you deeper, that allow for more connection, then um, you're making great progress. And that could be a sign that, you know, it might be have been long enough for you to get out of uh, no contact, okay? Especially if you also factor in the other reasons that you might do no contact, such as personal healing from the breakup and um, allowing enough time for your ex's reactants to sort of die down a little bit and all of that stuff, okay? But as a general rule of thumb, I would recommend that you would do active no contact for about 30 days, about one month, okay? Uh, this is by no means a strict rule that everyone must follow, but but uh, generally, I think that it's, it's a good rule of thumb, a good starting point. Some people might need more time, a very, very few people might need less time, but it's a good starting point, a good rule of thumb. Um, and you shouldn't really focus on the amount of time so much as on the quality of the interactions that you're able to have. So anyway, that's how long you should be doing no contact for, and that's how you should be thinking about it. Anyway, once again, this is Clay with ModernLove.Life. Uh, what you can do if you want to learn more about all of this is to head down below and click the link in the description of this video. And what that'll do is it'll take you to our website, RelationshipInnerGame.com, where you can tell us a little bit about yourself and your breakup and all of that stuff. And uh, we'll start to send you some customized advice tailored to your specific situation that'll help you to get back together with the person that you love. If you're watching this on our website, ModernLove.Life, if you click a link down below this video, what will happen is you'll be taken to a page that will tell you a little bit more about some of our more advanced, more intricate, more um, guided trainings that you can go through to help you get back together with your ex. So once again, I hope that this video has helped you out. If you uh, would like to leave a comment in the comment space down down below on YouTube, um, just go ahead and let me know what kinds of topics you would like me to make videos on in the future, okay? And of course, if you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Anyway, take care. I'll see you next time.